the lights camera option. We're live. We're live. It's Wednesday again. What's the date today? 13th? Yes. 13th <clears throat> of April. Mm -hmm. The Robins are hopping around being silly. I've got a very silly Robin in my house right now. It's pecking at the windows on the sides of the door and on our, we've got sort of a picture window, but individual pane. And he keeps sitting in there or he'll kind of fly sideways and peck at it. And now I've noticed he's got all this nesting material beside the door on the little window. But then he sits on this little rocking chair we have outside and he peeks in the window. Or you'll see him sitting on the doorknob. I think he's very funny. But you know, um, I just, I, I drive in and when I see that Robin sitting there doing something, I burst out laughing. Because <laughs> he's funny. He's like my pet little Robin. Maybe he wants to move in with you. I don't know. It's like you see something in there. But very cute. And you know, it's going to be Easter this weekend. It sure is. So I, we wonder if you all have Easter plans, if you're making a big Easter dinner or you're traveling or you're going to have company. Well, this will be the first real Easter in two years. It will be. So, you know, there'll be Easter egg hunts and mm -hmm. um, lots of fun things for, for little ones. Not just little ones. My girls requested Easter chocolate and a hunt or something. So oh, did they? Yeah, they did. Well, that's fun. I guess you never outgrow fun. No, and we shouldn't outgrow fun. So I don't know if you've got any different traditions in your families that you want to share with us. There's oh, Linda and Penny. Some people are saying it's rainy where they are. Uh, We've got sunshine. Yeah, it's a beautiful morning. It is. Like, I walked out the door like this and I have my sandals on. I wore them for the first time yesterday. So that's it. <laughs> that's it. No more socks and shoes. Well, you know me and Paul. Um, really, it's just, it was just felt balmy almost, didn't it? Mm -hmm. oh. I had a thin sweater on, but I took that off as soon as I got in here. It's like, you don't need it today. There's Agnes and Margaret. Yeah, no, it was, it's lovely out there. And I see that my little Persithia, are yours starting to, to bloom? Like I you, haven't noticed. Th mm. They're just starting to bud. Mm. And I'm thinking next week they will be in full oh, bloom. Those are gorgeous. I love seeing them. All right, so here we go. We should talk about our dwarf house, right? Yes, yeah, so because some of you have rainy weather going on and it's spring, we have this little frog bag with an umbrella. It's a, it could be like a little lunch tote or it has some pockets in there for a water bottle or whatever you want to carry. It's nice and sturdy. So That's one of those, a uh, block book, and then I have nine fat quarters from the... Um, Gingham Gardens line. So those would be fun to do something mm -hmm. with. So just make a comment and then we'll hopefully draw your name. And then also, if you want anything that we're showing you or you have any questions, it's Cynthia at cherishpieces.com or Tammy, T A M I at cherishpieces.com. And we will try to help you. And we'd love to see you in the store as well. We've had lots of visitors now that things are more relaxed and it's been a lot of fun. It to get has. to know people beyond the mask? No, because it's, it's, it's a challenge. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's really good. Do we want to do our show and tell now so we don't forget? Yeah, let's Maybe. do show let's and tell. Do, let's do that. Okay, so this was yesterday, our paper piecing class. And we had lots of fun doing that. I think we had six. Yes, seven. seven. And they were all oh, the laughter. You could just hear them upstairs. There's lots of laughter. And there will be another paper piecing class and a paper piecing class too, like a more advanced one <coughs> coming up. And we have to apologize. We know that we know who you are with that beautiful green quilt. And it's driving us nuts. But we just can't remember your name. We just can't We've remember. been racking our brains and... I'm very embarrassed because I know what it is. It's just not coming to me. Yeah, me either. But we love the quilt. It was really neat to see those panels pop off the green. Like, it, you have to see it in panels, real life. Yeah, it's a beautiful quilt. Very springy. And this is... Diana. Diana... Cordingly. Cordingly, yes. Right, Diana Cordingly. And she made one of those big bags. The Happy Hauler. Mm -hmm. 
out of the Norma Rose fabric. I smile because that bag, you could probably tuck her in that bag. Yeah, <laughs> and she was going to make a couple more. She really liked making that bag. So, very nice job. And here is uh, Greta Henricks, and uh, she's from around Palmerston. And she loves doing wool work. And look at this beautiful piece that she had. So she had two pieces. You can't really see the second piece quite as well. She probably sent you the wrong picture earlier. Wasn't it? But that one is gorgeous. So when you you have to see it in person because there's like 3D dimensional like little things hanging off of it. She does a beautiful job. She does. Very detailed. So there's Lorraine Lavoy from Concord. Rosie. Look at this. Rosie from in town. And this is for her granddaughter for Easter. Yes, and she made that little quilted jacket, and we told her to come and show us, and she was so proud of herself yesterday, and we were too. And she's got a terry lining in it, and in the pockets with the extra fabric, she has little bunnies. It's yep. just the sweetest little jacket ever. Yeah, very cute. And here she is with her, um, her flower for the Ukraine, her block for the Ukraine. Oh, she does lovely work. Here's Bonnie Gregor, and this was a baby quilt that she made that she picked up. Uh, it was quilted by Louise. That's cute. It is very cute. Lots of baby quilts these days. And you know, she gives a lot to the shelters. Mm. Um, I think this was another one she did, and this was going to be for a man at a shelter. It's Rhodes, I remember that. And then yeah. the line was the pottery line. Nice fabrics. Very nice. And she did a great job. Very generous lady. Our, so many of our quilters are so generous. Mm-hmm. And this is the um, Ancaster Fair raffle quilt. And this is Kathy Reed and Lorraine Latulip is the one on the side. And Lorraine pieced it. And it's Tim Holtz fabric and another. It's a very large quilt. I remember this, picking the fabrics for this. Yeah, now it's it done. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's really a beautiful quilt. It turned quilt. out good. And the tickets are a dollar. And uh, I'm hoping that they sell tons of tickets. Yeah. For this beautiful quilt there's a lot of hours in that and uh, it's a very good cause and now that you know the fair will be back and going this year because that's usually in the fall and Rhonda Rhonda showed up and you weren't here uh, this is Marnie Newport and she had some of her sassy little birds I love those birds <laughs> look at the one that's kind of going like this with his wings out you know, by her. Yeah, uh, I see that. Yeah. Very cute. I think they're kind of sassy like her. Hmm. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> they have attitude. And this is Bev Rotherman, and this is one for Victoria Quilt. And I think that the little sunbonnet sleeves came, but they weren't all completed. And she decorated these with variegated thread and then put this whole quilt together to show off these little sunbonnet oh, sleeves. cute. Girls. It's adorable. See, there was some rickrack on some of the hats, and then she turned around, and she's done variegated trim on some of the others and along the edge of the dresses. And then she did this lovely setting to show them off. Very so it'll nice. be quilted, but I wouldn't maybe see it after it was quilted. I was like, oh, Beth, we need to take a picture, because this is just lovely. It's just very sweet. It'll make somebody very happy. Mm -hmm. And um, Colleen... Uh, was in, and her and her husband had made this purple rooster. It's wooden. I don't know if you can see it very well, but a wooden rooster for, purple rooster for Louise. And I just thought, oh, that's so much fun. We're just going to take a picture of that. That was fun. Yeah. Cute. And here we are back. Oh, there is Joanne Nightingale. Good morning. <clears throat> and Carla from Newfoundland. And Laura Jones. There's Carol Nair. Mm-hmm. Anyway, it's just so lovely seeing you all. Do we want to talk about this beautiful quilt behind us? We do. I'll let you. So this is one from... We had a pile of them here. Oh, that's why it was there. Yes, from the new Jenny Joan book. And it is called... Oh my goodness, Cynthia. Lakeview Terrace. And we used our some of our when and wisteria... And you won't be able to pick this up, but we will be putting it. The background is white, has dragonflies on it. So it's tone on tone white with dragonflies. So that just really suits that very pretty springy quilt. Okay, what is that? I guess it'll be going out. 
like to be quilted to this one. We also had some new things come in, mm -hmm. or some things that we've had for a while that maybe you don't realize that we have. Um, we still have these uh, Old Country Caboodle little spring gnomes, the little kits. Um, it has everything in there so that you can complete it. Everything is die cut. We just need to do the sewing work. I think I showed part. I just had to sew the rest of it together. I think it might still be in my retreat sewing book. Oh, you have I to just dig them to, out. I know. I just need to put the back on and you know, sew them in. So that's fun for spring. And then we also got some rulers in. The non-slip kitty corner. Creative grids. There's a non-slip multi-size curved corner cutter. So if you're working on a quilt where you're doing lots of curves, that'd be helpful. And there's also this big easy. So if you need a big ruler for squaring up your quilts for trimming or... Some of our long armors just love this one. It's yeah, 12 so and a half by 24, 24 and a half. So it's it's big. And it's 58.95. Okay. I need to remind you too that we have um, a couple of portable design walls. This one um, is, all oh, the size is right on it. 54 inches wide, I think. Yep. 54 by 54. And these are really great for your room. Like, you know, if you don't have a design wall that you can pop it up and or if you're going to a class or a retreat, they're great to take along. Yeah, so it's portable. Yep, so it's can... 185 And this could be a great gift. You know, we've got Mother's Day coming up. This could be a great Mother's Day gift. Right, yeah. So there's another um, batch of the Lori Holt Zippy Bakes, a panel. We were able to get time to get some more. Here, let's open it a little more. I guess I should have brought some of my zippy bags that I did. Yeah, so um, if you were hoping for a zippy bag last time and we were already sold out, we have some uh, new panels and then we also have the zippers this time. So this panel is $34 and it makes is it eight bags. There's eight bags that can be made of. Yes. And all the instructions are on there on the corner. So right here. And then we have her fun zippers and there's one, two, three, four, eight. Which matches this. Yeah. And they're eighteen fifty. So that's a cool little package. And these are um they are two two way zippers. Okay. So something else that could be made up for Mother's Day. That's right. You know, it could be a gift that you give, or you could make them up and split them up amongst mothers and uh, in laws. Mother in laws. That's right. Like do you give your mother in law something for for, like, do we do that for Mother's Day? Yeah. I don't know. I think you can give somebody a gift whenever. Yeah. There's no rules, is there? The zippy bags are not online, Lisa. Sorry. No, we didn't get them on. Yes, the zippers are sold separately, too. Not, like, individually. They're in that package, though. Yeah. Just in case that's what he was asking. How oh. much is the panel? $34. Yeah. That's, I'm glad that we... It's so nice to be able to see the comments, and I just have to make sure my eyes are... Is it looking over, over there? there? To see, yeah. And then we've also uh, decided to bring these in because a lot of you have asked the friction pens. Um, they're great for marking. It's a rollerball pen style. Um, you do. It does say refillable, but we don't have uh, that right now. And those are five fifty each. Before I forget, we also have these Clover water erasable markers. That one is a fine, and this one is a thick. It always says on the packaging if you're not sure what which one you want. And then there's air erasers. Oh, um, the <coughs> fine one is 725 and the thick one is 699 And then the purple ones are the air erasable marker. The thick one right here is $8.99. The extra fine is also $8.99. So if you uh, need a new one or you're looking for something about your fabric, those are good options. And we got these in, and I, these are just beautiful. And what they are, these would just make a fabulous Mother's Day gift. These are brushes. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Did everybody hear that loud enough? These are brushes for cleaning your machine. 
yes. Arlene said that this could be just nice enough to put your makeup on. So this one's like a rose, and you can just see how beautiful well, that is. Well, I said this is the Beauty and the Beast rose. Yes, you did. So they're just oh, <laughs> so. You know what? Since since we do this. Maybe we could auction this off now since this has touched your face. Oh, my can... God. <laughs> what a big ball. Let's stick this up your nose and see how well that one will go. No. Okay. Anyway, this one is, um, these would be great Mother's Day gifts. And this one is $15 and this one's $24.95. So they're just beautiful. And this, they, this one comes in red or the iridescent color. So anyway, just beautiful. And we thought that they would be. Lovely. And they are soft, like oh, really, yeah. really soft. You know, soft. to be quite honest with you, you could put this in your makeup as opposed to just using it to, you know, clean your machine. I think so. But anyway, it's very elegant. Oh, you're holding it like a cigarette? <laughs> well, why don't we do that? <laughs> Am I ruining your nice moment? <laughs> well, you're certainly turning red. And you know, people have been waiting for that for weeks. And right. you did it to yourself. Well, there awesome. you go. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's that, talk. Celebrity auction. That's let's, right. Let's talk about this. All right. Focus. <laughs> we have some gorgeous border prints, and Tammy had made this up. We love hanging at the shop. Do you want to talk about this, Tammy? Yeah. So what, it was a picture that one of our customers sent us, and it was just beautiful. So we're like, we have border prints. We'd like to try it. So we just took the border print, and we, like, went shopping in the store for colors. Um, like a lighter and then a dark so you get that contrast in your nine patch and that's what you're making you're making nine patches and then we found an accent border to highlight some of the golds out of the flowers and it just became and lovely here's, and here's this border print but we have some beautiful border prints that we thought we'd share with you today as inspiration to do one yes girl so there's that one that we showed and then he, they also have, um, in that same line, there's a purple version. Mm -hmm. And then in the beginning, he has this. Let's open this one. It's like a bit of a cityscape. Almost, yeah, so, it? you know, you probably have lots of colors in your stash that you could just pull from the border. And any kind of border print you have at home, it's a good way to use it up if you're not sure what to do with it. And then there's this really pretty one here. This is another in the beginning. Actually, I think these are all in the beginning. Yeah, they are. They are. So that could be really fun. You just have some fun with nine patches. And then look at this one, too. Look at this one. So From the Patricia, Patricia line. line. Yeah. yeah. Very fall. So there's all kinds of things. And then water prints. And then we have this one, which we showed you just not very long ago that had come in the flower card form and just you know the flower market this would be lovely too so you could make it to suit a room but what a great way to sort of bust your stash mm -hmm. you know buy the, the pretty border and um, just do some simple nine patches and you know according to your border if it has lots of color if you want that you could add all kinds of color in the center or if you just want it more subdued you know mm -hmm. just depending on yeah, and it was print. Pat Espion. There she is. That's oh, the yes, there, Pat. Yeah, it was uh, Pat who really inspired us on that one. So our customers inspire us all the time. They do. We so enjoy our show and tells and what we have to show. This was uh, one. Let me think of the name of the, the pattern. And then, um, Beveled? Beveled. So this was this is just a piece of the print as the focal, and um, just beautiful and purple. So it's fifty three by seventy one, and the kit is a one twenty five. Yeah, we have some fabric to show Tammy. Yes, let's show some fabric. Uh, we also, since it's camping season now, I'm sure most people are, or have been booking their sites for the summer. We still have a camping panel. Uh, there's the one with the green, and then there's also one with the... It has some black or charcoal around the edges. Oh, I didn't realize we had two different colored ones. So we could uh, do something with that. 
And then there's a you could do you know you what you could do placement you could do a quilt but you could do placemats with this too yeah so that'd be neat on your and you know table with our um what's our odif stuff called our yeah that odif the the um odico odico you know so you could put that on so that they could be washable yes so then there's the camping yardage there's only a little bit left of the campers but we thought you'd show you just in case uh, you really wanted some of that. And then these other two prints are from that line that go with it. Yeah. Well, Carol McAllister, I think you should have that quilt. She's just loving that mauve quilt. Yeah, the border, some of these border prints aren't, um, because they're so wide, wouldn't be as good for some of those geometric table runners. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, because they are wider, some of the narrow ones suit it better, but um, you could certainly make a lovely runner with this. So then when there's a new line that came in called Imagine uh, by Clothworks. Oh, we got to show this one with the little animals. Here, let's open that one a little bit. A lot of people like woodland uh, themes for some of the baby stuff. So there's that. It's so cute with the little squirrel and the bear. The bear's the got a hedgehog. backpack. And there's a chipmunk. Chipmunks are so much fun. They're so darn cute to watch. And so those are 15 a yard. We have some other coordinating prints here. Black charcoal, taupe. There's a green. And then there's a green background of the little animals. And then also this, it's kind of a slate blue, I think. Dark gray, it's calling it. It's very nice with the line. It coordinates very nicely. Yeah, so that's some new things for spring. It is. And um, let's go back to like main stage here and invite Arlene up. So we'll put you in the middle here, Arlene. So we just wanted you to notice, if you notice our cute little necklaces, these sweet little gummy bears. <laughs> and these were a gift from a customer. Mm -hmm. And um, they're it's they're glass and they're hand blown, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. We thought they were just lovely. And the uh, person they're from is Emma Gerard, as she's the designer, the glass artist. Yeah, and she does these are all hand blown glass, individual. And um, her <coughs> website is emmagerard.com, and Gerard is G E R A R D. Yeah, we and just she wanted has... to say thank you and, and uh, a shout out to this very gifted glass artist and jeweler. Yeah. We get spoiled. Yeah. So we just say <laughs> thank you and we just wanted to uh, acknowledge that. The three amigos. <laughs> so, what do we have next? Shall we? Ta da! What's behind, what's yeah, behind the curtain? You want to take this down? Sure. Oh, that's uh, using that border fabric that we were just talking about. And Pam, you did such a lovely job on this. It was really fun just working with uh, springy colors. So it's uh, using that flower market from uh, in the beginning. And there's just like little flowers in the center, a little four patch. It was very fun to work. I think it's like 53 by 66, something like that. So it's yeah, a nice little lap nice, size. Yeah, and you did nice mitered borders. Really look good. And we have one more line here. And it's sort of a, it's a naturescape line from Riley Blake. So the woodland colors. Okay. So the gray and we've got Yeah, that's more of a charcoal. Yeah, these are kind of nice tone on tone. Yeah, that green is nice. And then we have this other shade of green. So there's two shades of green. So it's here. almost like a fern and a moss or something. Yeah, that shows up very nicely when you have the two side by side. <clears throat> and another tone on tone one. Okay, that the light's maybe getting that a little, but and these are sixteen dollars a yard. And um, there we like go. A tree. A tree. Yep, nature's window. And there it is in gray. Here, let's stack the trees together. And green. And tan. Maybe like that. 
Yeah. And those were 16 a yard. We said a lot of green fabric today. You know, maybe it's the whole spring thing. And I'll, mm. just, I'll put these aside. I think it's da -da -da, door prize time. All right. We hope you all have a wonderful Easter and uh, enjoy your time with family and nice meal. And Let's get outside. Enjoy yeah, some outside. sunshine. Yeah, and I think the weather looks very promising. So we hope that we will see you in person too. We are closed, of course, Good Friday, mm -hmm. but open Saturday. Mm -hmm. Okay. So for the block book, uh, Sue Lango Bean. Sue Bean. Okay, congratulations, Sue. Sweet little bag with a frog on it. And Sharon Davis. Congratulations, Sharon. And then the back orders. Uh, Michelle McCord. Congratulations, Michelle. There we go. You can let me know if you're going to pick that up or if you need it mailed, and hopefully we'll see. So, happy Easter, happy week, happy wonderful spring in this lovely weather. So enjoy. Thanks for watching. Thank you.